All right, so in part four of our 30-day modeling for SketchUp series, we're gonna create a pair of shelves. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we're gonna start off right here. And what we wanna do is we wanna start by drawing out a rectangle. So in this case, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna tap the R key to activate the rectangle tool. Remember that we can lock this to an axis by tapping arrow keys on our keyboard now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap the right arrow key, mouse over this central point and single click. And then I'm gonna move my mouse up. And in this case, what I want is I want this to be eight feet tall by two feet deep. So in this case, we're gonna type in a value of two feet, then a comma, and then a value of eight feet right here. That's gonna draw a two foot by eight foot rectangle. Well, then we need to give it some thickness. So we can do that by tapping the F key to activate the offset tool, single clicking and moving our mouse and offsetting it to the thickness of whatever our piece of wood is, it's gonna go around the outside. So in this situation, we're gonna say this is maybe like three quarters of an inch or something like that. So I'm gonna type in three quarters, hit that enter key. And then I'm gonna single click on this middle point, hit the delete key and then push pull this out right here. And in this case, we're gonna say that this is gonna be two and a half inches thick. So a value of two and a half inches right here. Um, real quick, remember if you haven't subscribed to the SketchUp Essentials, please make sure to do that as I am currently trying to beat SketchUp. I'm running out of time before their base camp right here. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you do that so that I can have at least a fighting chance of passing Aaron over there before their conference later on this year. What we've done is we've generated this shape right here. And what we need to do is we need to copy it. But before we copy it, we wanna make sure that we select the whole thing, right click and make it a component. And we're just gonna call this vertical support. And so what I want is I want to have a copy of this that's basically going to be um, six feet over because I'm gonna have a six inch overlap on either side. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna create a guide. So I'm just going to come in here, activate the tape measure tool, make sure I'm in create guide mode. I'm gonna single click on this point, and then I'm gonna type in a value of, we're gonna say six feet right here. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna create a, a guide that's six feet away over here. Well then I can use the move tool in copy mode in order to copy this a couple times. So tap the M key, tap control, and then click on this corner. And what I wanna do is I wanna move this over to this point right here, right? So that's gonna make my copy right here, but then I wanna type in divided by and the number of copies I wanna create. So in this case, I wanna create three equally spaced copies. So I just typed in forward slash three, and then I hit the inner key. That's given me my vertical supports. Well now, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and we wanna model out our first shelf. So this is gonna be fairly easy. What I want is I want a shelf that's going to be, let's call it six inches off the ground. So I'm just gonna draw another guide, six inches high, like this. And then I'm gonna rough out the shape of my shelf. So in this case, that's really easy. I'm just gonna move my mouse in this direction, hold the shift key to lock my red axis inference right there, like this. And then I can use a rectangle tool in order to quickly close this in like this. So now I've basically got the profile of this shape. It needs to stick out a little bit more, but we'll fix that in a second. For now, I'm just gonna push pull this up and we're gonna say this has a thickness of five eighths of an inch right here. So on this side, I wanna push pull this out so that it overhangs by about six inches. Over here, I wanna do the same thing, but I wanna start by push pulling it so that it aligns right here. And then I'm just gonna push pull this, type in a value of six and hit the enter key. So now I'm gonna select this, right click, and I'm gonna make it a component. And in this case, we're gonna call this seven foot or shelf seven foot and hit the enter key. And so now what I wanna do is I wanna create a certain number of copies up here, depending on how tall I want these shelves to be. In this case, I want there to be six shelves and I want the last one to be 12 inches down from the top. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the guide mode again, or the tape measure to create guides. And in this case, I'm gonna create a guide that's 12 inches down right here. Well then, all I have to do is just use the move tool in copy mode again. So M key, tap control, move your mouse up. And I just wanna align that with this guide. And then I'm gonna type in a value of divided by six or divided by five right here. So what that does is that creates five equally spaced copies between this point 
in this point. And so now what I want to do is I want to create another shelf that is a little more traditional. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to come over here and we're going to start by drawing the profile of one of our boards that's going to run across the outside. So I'm assuming this one is going to have a depth of 18 inches. So I'm just going to draw a line here, 18 inches deep like this. And then I'm going to say this is again going to have maybe that three quarters of an inch thickness. So I'll draw a line across right here. Then I can just close this whole thing in. So now I have a face that I can extrude. And so for this one, I want it to have a height of four feet. So I'm going to push pull this up four feet right here. Then I'm just going to make a copy of it. So I'm going to make this a component and we're going to call this shelf side support. And in this case, I want this to have an overall width of four feet. So I'm just going to create a guide from this point right here, four feet over. So I'm going to type in a value of four feet, hit the enter key, and then remember, use the move tool in copy mode to create a copy that aligns with this edge. So we can check this by drawing a dimension. So if you click over here, there's a dimension tool. Single click, single click, and we can see that our overall width is four feet. Well then, I'm gonna draw the interior boards. So again, I'm just going to draw something that has a thickness of three quarters of an inch. I'll use the rectangle tool in this case to close this in, and we'll push pull this across like this. I can triple click to select all connected edges, right click on this and click on make component. And in this case, we're gonna say shelf, horizontal, four foot. It's a little less than four foot, but that's okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the move tool in copy mode to create a copy that aligns right here. And then I'm gonna type in the forward slash and a value of three. That's given me three shelves down below our top board right here. Now, I wanna create some vertical shelves. And so first off, let's create one on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and erase out by tapping the E key and dragging over these. I'm gonna erase out these dimensions and guides. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna draw a line from midpoint to midpoint right here. And we want these to be three quarters of an inch. Um, there's two different ways you can do this. In this case, I'm just going to draw a line that's three quarters of an inch right here. So that I've got this shape and then I'm gonna double click on it and I'm gonna move it over to align it with the midpoint. So we can find the midpoint right here, but then I'm just gonna push pull this up like this. And then we can right click on this, click on make component. And we're gonna call this shelf vertical short and hit the inner key. And so now what I need to do is I need to add two dividers right here. So what I'm gonna do in this situation is I'm actually gonna draw a line across here using the line tool. So just tap L, click and click. And so what I wanna do is I wanna right click on this and I wanna divide this. And in this case, I wanna divide this into three segments. Well, when I do that, I now have points that I can inference to when I make copies. So if I make a copy up here, I can find those points using the move tool in copy mode and place these really quickly. And then let's say we wanna do the same thing on the top. We could just draw a line across here, right click, and we're gonna divide this so that we have four segments. And then I can use the move tool in copy mode, create a copy, create a copy, create a copy. So now I've got a shelf like this. But one last thing I wanna do with this shelf is I wanna add some legs to it. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna start by drawing a circle. And you can kind of place this however you want. You can use guides to do it. You can just kind of like throw something in there. I'm gonna say that this is maybe gonna be four inches in, four inches in. And I'm basically just creating a grid so that I can see all four points where these legs are gonna go. But remember that we're gonna do this with components. So we're only gonna to have to do it once and then we can make copies. So I'm gonna start by drawing a circle that's got the thickness that I'm looking for. In this case, I'm gonna say that this has a radius of one inch to start off. And then I'm gonna push pull it down. Or we're gonna say that this is maybe, we'll say six inches off the ground. 
or let's say eight inches. So I'm gonna push pull this down two more inches. So what I want though, is I don't want these boring legs in here. What I wanna do is I wanna take this whole thing and I wanna start by giving it a taper. So I'm gonna select this, tap the S key and then tap control and then single click in order to give this some taper. But I'm not done yet. I also want to move this out so it's got some slope. And so remember, we haven't made this a group yet. This is just regular geometry. Well, what I can do is I can select this whole thing. I can notice how I've just selected the bottom of this kind of like tapering cone. Well, if I move this around, notice what it's gonna do is it's actually going to adjust based on where I move this to because this geometry is known as what's sticky geometry. So the geometry is basically adjusting with this movement. So in this case, I'm gonna say this is gonna move this way, two inches, and I'm also going to move it this way, two inches, like this. Whoops. We wanna move it on the green axis this time. So two inches. Well, then if we look at this from like a top down standpoint, notice how we've got this like outward slope in here. Well, now what I can do is I can make this a component and I can call this shelf leg right here. And what I wanna do is I wanna move this um, or create a copy of this so that it's aligned to all of the corners in here. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap the M key in order to move this and in this case, I'm just gonna take this central point right here that's aligned with this guide. So this point right here, and I'm just gonna use that as my base point. And I'm gonna tap the control key. I'm gonna move this over until it aligns with this guide. Obviously we don't want it like this. So, because it's going the wrong direction. So we're just gonna use the move tool. Notice how you can mouse over it and you get these little crosses in here. And we're just gonna flip this like this. Then I'm gonna move it over again so that it aligns with this guide. And then we're gonna create copies of these. So in this case, we can just select them, use the move tool in copy mode and copy them over. And before I place them, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to tap the S key with these two selected. That's the scale tool and I can use it to flip them by scaling to negative one. So then I can use the move tool again, making sure that I've picked up this point right here that I want to align with my guide, but I can move it over so that it aligns with my guide right here. And now I've got four legs on my shelf. All right, so if you have any questions about anything we cover here today, leave them in the comments down below. I will link to the next video in this series as soon as it's ready to go on this page. Also, if you do wanna download the example model from this series, you can do that at the sketchupessentials.com slash 30 days. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.